Welcome back to another episode of Being Sexy and Playing Video Games. Today we're playing the fifth episode in my Detroit Become Human series. I don't ask me what happened last episode. I genuinely do not remember. It was probably the car highway road scene with Connor and Kara. But that's about all I remember. Nothing else. I swear. So... Since that's all I remember, let's get right freaking into it and refresh my little memory. Or I could just look at chapters, actually. This is your story chart. It shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed. You can track the choices made by other players and do many other things besides. Oh, okay. You can use this chart to replay from any point in the story, but... The people who designed me recommend that you play through at least once without going back, no matter what happens. Whoa. Either way, it's your story. Okay. So, we did On the Run, and I guess we're opening up with Jericho with Marcus. So, last episode, we definitely waited for Hank, and we went on the run, I'm pretty sure. This episode, we are starting with Jericho as Marcus. So let's get fucking started. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'm sleepy. But I bet literally just playing one chapter or like one video is going to be enough to wake me up for sure. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detective Andrew Hayes has been working on this case for Crazy, right? I'm just wondering if I can interact with them, you know, like with the preacher guy. Oh, that's where the train comes. Okay. Here for you. Do you know where Jericho is? Got ignored just like Kara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I just wanted to walk around. Sorry, y'all. Marcus has some urgency. Unlike Tara. Like up in the cracks of a building. <gasps> yeah, thank you, camera. Whoa. Is this me or are we glitching a little? Oh, there we go. Fence. Uh... Hey, I was already crossed. Taxi. Nya, 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 nya. Found it. Uh, oh. One. Looks like this number. Yeah. Things I gotta get in there. Move it. It's awesome. Oh, but I I don't have free control of it. It just moves it somewhere. I guess. Sure. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, there it is. I was like, I can't see the pyramid. Sorry, guys. I don't have anything to say. This is really slow. why there's so many over here because they were on their way to freaking Zerika. Look at me cooking it up in my head. Are we gonna have to go up? Yep. Thank <laughs> you. 
these angles, dude. Looks crazy. I mean, they probably can't turn. Those events and some PPEs, but they might make the examining part a QPE. Does that make sense? Okay, y'all are freaking me out. Oh, y'all are freaking me out. Oh, yeah, I'm so good at this. The hole. This hole. Right? The boat. Cargo ship? Whoa. Yeah, that would have been too easy and they scared me. Jump up here? Ah, yes, I can. Up. Ah, okay, sure. Oh, this reminds me of Man of Madan Medan. There's a boat. Because we're in an old ship. Okay, we're meant to go this way. Flashlight. Bla flashlight. Whoa, that was bad. Yeah, I don't like this. Androids are scary as is. I don't like boats. I don't like water. Can I open you? Hold on, come back. Wait. I feel like that's the way. This is just a random room. I hate this. You guys are not supposed to be a horror game, so... Why are y'all doing this? Lock? Is it locked? I'm scared. Kara. Whoa! Android on the run. Hmm.
You've been dashing across the highway to avoid Gaka. Android astronauts. I think Android astronauts, astronauts are the only good thing that come out of this because we don't have to put aerial people through the pressure of becoming an astronaut. Well, not pressure, but like, have y'all seen that astronaut lady that looked like she's only been out there for a couple months? And her whole face is like sunken in. Being in space does something to you, so like, Andrews could be a solution to that. Okay, you scary ass bitch. Well, at least they didn't get me, but I know what y'all are trying to do. Y'all are evil. Maybe that's why I'm not liking this episode. Y'all are trying to scare me. Oh, only one way to go. Y'all are supposed to be chill. Why do y'all have random androids jump scaring me real bad? What the fuck? Okay, how was I supposed to stop that? I wasn't exactly, so it's not my fault. What the fuck? Damn. Okay, now we fucked it up for all future androids because no one's gonna make it through without only. Whoa, I remember you. Welcome to Jericho. Sup? I know he's not the same one. Oh, what did I miss? I only missed one thing. Golly. Replay. Oh, it's probably- so th there's probably a different magazine cover if I don't kill Todd. I'm cooking up in my head. Next! I'm honestly more interested in Connor than anybody else right now. Oh, hey, hey. Neutral. Reconcile Lieutenant Anderson. There's no, like, you know? Yeah, there's no, like, crossing Gaka stuff. I was wondering if I, if I could scan them. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Wait, who's this? Lieutenant Anderson? Wait, who's this? Illegal gambling, fraud, Pedro, unemployed. He's one year younger than me. Whoa. What? License expired. It was refused. And we're in 2038, so he's serving <laughs> after six years of no license. Man, damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Uh. You don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I would hate being an android because I can't eat yummy yummy food. 
I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Warm. As it's cyber life thought everything, huh? Can I see him now? Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations, 1988, business owner Gary Case. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna harass him now. Just kidding. I'm gonna get hey. on the food truck. I love burgers. I want a burger. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they're fucked up. Bruh. He's hilarious. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and... You spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Ink. Oh, that was not a wink. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I think I like Connor's plot more because hey, Connor. he's with Hank. You run out of batteries or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. <laughs> I'm coming. What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops.
Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Sorry, what the fuck? Let me in. I hate these camera angles, but it's probably just me, sorry. Mm, red eyes up at the mic. Damn, that's what the earth looks like? This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's. No. Go. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? <laughs> Something your mom does when you're in first grade. No food? Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking fish. Sorry, no me. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. That's cool. The text being behind him was awesome. In front of him, technically. He fell when we knocked, and that was the noise. Y'all have those. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to miss anything at all. This. Big 
ID. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't get for nothing. Ah, Jesus! I hate these things. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indis... Pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Damn, we move heck of fast. Pretty slow, so I think I'm good. I'm safe. Yeah, we're doing fast for risky. Fast for risky all day, every day. He had a high survival. Come on. And if I would have saved him, he would have been like, why didn't you chase after him? Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400 Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed defective will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. He's mad at me. Oh, fuck. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. One of us. Helping humans. One of us. But you're just their slave. 
I said shut up! Come along. Hmm. Well, he slapped us really fucking hard. Right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. So I still lost them. God damn it, so I shouldn't have gone after Hank. Yeah. Hank, I'm sorry. Can we dab fuck each other up in case? Damn. Bruh. Whoops. Did I, miss, I missed something in my apartment. Damn it. Rupert. That's his name? Rupert committed suicide. Oh, I missed something. Found the diary. Find lead. Yeah, lady. Find lead. Damn, I missed something. What did I miss? I don't know. Oh, next. Uh, I'm just kidding. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Bad. Simon. Bad. Nice. Uh, wait! She! She's the one that went missing from the, uh, 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 This uh, is Jericho? Uh, it's a refuge Eden for those Club. who don't want to be slaves anymore. I don't, oh, How I'm gonna say free. You? There are 19 of us still in working order. Damn, the rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Well, it wasn't trust. It was just, they're gonna die. This place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Honestly, I kind of was I kind of had all the freedom in the world. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. Damn! You're lost, Where's just like know? the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. That's cool. You can stay with us as long as you want. Awesome. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Would yeah. Yeah. Let me go see Lucy. Settle in and find Lucy. Explore Jericho. I'm gonna explore Jericho. Mm, I'll start fire. Y'all are going to like it gives you warrants, you little fakers. What's up with you? Not me, very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Tied me to the back of a car. Oh. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. I have no. are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus.
I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Whoa. I didn't get a chance to talk about it yet, but now, I mean, we know Alice is not a real girl. That girl was literally on that magazine. It's so crazy because Car saw it. We didn't see it. Carl literally didn't even want to acknowledge it, right? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They don't. They won't. We're slowly dying out. What was your function before coming here? Oh, I know what it was. What do you care? I just asked you a question. I'm sorry. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Bro, I don't even know what the fuck. Dude, I was just born yesterday, literally. Like, chill. Grumpy ass yeah, girl. Okay, mm, make you. Talk to this girl. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me.
Damn, that's from y'all, honestly. I'll stop the bleeding. That's so weird. Like, you literally just cauterized me with the egg? Drink, Drink it? this. Oh, what? That easy? Dang, I wish I was a cyborg. Am I a cyber life? Am I a little cyber life? Hmm. Okay, I'm thirsty. Give me your hand. We're gonna share stories like that other one. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. Me? Me? From pose to Simon. Yay! Simon, would you go to prom with me? Um. Think about something. I'm thinking about something, but I already forgot. Um. What exactly am I thinking about? Sorry, guys. I'm making sure my piercing is in all the way. It was something, but I forgot. I don't know. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. The Cyber Life Warehouse is in the Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Oh, but humans we will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Oh, I know what I was thinking. I remembered. Okay. I'm in. I was thinking, whoa. Androids. I mean, like, androids is obviously an advancement, so, like, you can make them, like, the most perfect looking people ever. But then I'm looking at all the characters' eyebrows, and I'm like, yeah. Y'all just, yeah, y'all made them look like people. I don't know. I, I, that that train of thought does not make sense at all. 100% then. Yes. Everybody's neutral about me. Um, what I meant was looking at Marcus's eyebrows and Lucy's eyebrows. I was like, they are so intentionally made that way to appear human. You know? Yeah. Ignoring the fact that these models are actual people that they created the characters from. Like, these androids are like literally just meant to look like us 100 percent especially with that one that shut down and said it was nice knowing us it was crazy because like her eyes were like they held an emotion and then the minute she turned off they just they just went back to like stiff it's so f you know yeah yeah y'all get what i'm saying i think this is a a good stopping point for this fifth episode of the Trevor Camp Human taking off all my jewelry it's five 
p.m. And it's so fucking dark out. It's 5.55. But it's so dark out. Like, dude, it's, it's time for bed. Look at how dark out. It's time for bed. But yeah. I think there's a good stopping point. We met the people of Jericho. We left on a little cliffhanger for Marcus. Um, we messed up with Connor. And hopefully next episode we pick up with Kara. Because, I mean, I think we made it. Yeah, we made it out from the freaking house. And we got away from Connor, so. We should be on our way somewhere. I thought we'd be on our way to Jericho. But I don't know if that other, if that dude that does the trash stuff would know about Jericho. Because, cause like, would you, do you become a D, I mean, but is it possible to become a deviant and not start doing weird stuff? Because everybody that's become a deviant has done weird stuff and ran away and, like, malfunctioned. So, like, there's no way that that guy knows about Jericho because, like, how are you still at your job if you're a deviant, you know? So, we must be going somewhere else. Or Jericho. I don't know. But I'm not 100% on Jericho. And we got smacked by Hanky Poo. Oh, that's bad. But yeah. That's it for this episode. I will see y'all in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you want to. If not, I don't care. Love you. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye.